hello guys and welcome if you are new please subscribe and also click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any such videos in today's uh, video we are going to talk about the latest feature update by windows on windows 11 which was released by microsoft recently that was actually in september one of the biggest updates in recent months or see or in fact since windows 11 was released now guys we're going to talk about the greatest feature which i think most people will like and which i think is futuristic that is windows assistant mac which is a uh, an ai assistant actually windows calls it a uh, windows uh, copilot or copilot in windows we have a preview of it which once you update and by the way to update you need to go to your settings and then go to windows update and then you need to enable get the latest updates as soon as they are available and then you can click check for updates and update i've already done that and i'm using the latest feature features actually now it is important that you update your pc and in fact any other device for that matter because the latest uh, features always uh, makes the device to operate optimally and also uh, it introduces or brings in new features new drivers and things like that so make sure using the latest version of windows to be able to enjoy these great features now i talked about the copilot or copilot in windows which is a a preview for now more updates coming on it which will make it even more efficient which will make it even to do much more on your pc for now it can do some basic tasks and to launch it you can either launch it from the taskbar or you can press a windows logo key plus c to open it and also to close it and you realize that windows copilot is actually the Bing chat that we've already seen in Microsoft Edge because it can access internet and also it can be able to modify settings on your PC. It can be able to do things like turn on dark mode. Yeah, it can also, since I'm already in dark mode, let me just try to turn on let me just try to turn on light mode yes and it will be able to do whatever you are telling it to do and the good thing is also you can be able to browse with it you can be able to access internet ask questions and it will prompt you to confirm yes would you like to turn off dark mode uh, let's see yes uh, let's check if if, if uh, indeed we are in using dark mode in fact we can just see here we are now we have switched to dark mode to light mode sorry we were in dark mode and then we can also ask it to just uh, redo or undo 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 what you did let's see if it can understand what i'm trying to tell it to do oh yes it understands would you like to switch to dark mode yes because we are switching from dark mode to light mode it is asking me would you like to switch to dark mode because that is where we were or that is how it was set before it actually i prompted it to help me to turn on a uh, light mode tell me i'm sorry i cannot undo what i did you can change the theme back sorry it is not perfect so i'll just tell it to turn on dark mode let me just try to help it yes I 
okay yes uh, back to dark mode so it is a great feature it is a very useful feature and i'm sure microsoft is will be working on it to improve it to make it more efficient and to make it do more this uh, copilot will also appear in in many in it will help you in many features and, and many apps in, inside the windows operating system and another great feature is a start menu the start menu has been redesigned and as you can see we now have uh, some uh, recommended apps and files and uh, when you hover when you over you get the more details about the files and the apps when it was accessed the path mm, you can see the path this one even the files that are in one drive you can still get the details when it was accessed and the path to the file so small small improvement but nonetheless uh, yeah it is it is making the windows uh, windows 11 uh, more useful now the next feature is also in the when you go to system tray one of the changes that uh, windows is making is uh, you are able to uh, show date and time or also or also to remove date and time like in my case if you you can just if you have removed like me date and time you see when you right click you can not see the date and time settings because i already removed it so if we if we can just go to uh, date and time settings show time and date in the system tray so so you can see i have a date and time showing on the system tray if i right click i can adjust date and time so you can easily access and you can easily uh, turn this off to hide or turn on to show i prefer it to be off and i leave it that way another feature is an update on file explorer which has been made uh, more it is now an home, home home button or tab and and the newly added uh, tab which is gallery this is where all your photos will appear and of course OneDrive so it has been redesigned it now looks better and uh, and it has a details pane on the right so when you select a file let's say for example this file it will show me the details like the type of file the size of the file the location of the file date modified length and total bit rate so that is pretty useful even you can see the search here has been improved and it looks uh, much better and it is more useful another going on we go to windows uh, share now you can be able to share files directly to your outlook by just right clicking let's say i want to share this file just right click share and right away you can see my outlook contacts they can i can be able to send them uh, this day or share this file to them directly by right clicking the file that i want to share with them and that can be very useful to make uh, things faster
moving on and uh, windows has introduced another feature actually an app called a uh, backup which can be used to backup your pc this is uh, windows backup you can search it on the start menu so it will store your folders your apps and your settings and credentials so when you restore if you're moving to a new pc once you restore your settings will be restored if you're using and preferences if you're using dark mode you will be using dark mode if you are connected to a wi-fi you will be connected because it will have access to wi-fi networks and passwords and things like that so moving to another pc has never been easier and uh, this feature i believe is going to be very useful to some people and then another another feature is a uh, emoji which has been uh, added unicode emoji 15 has been added the support for it has been added and you can access it by pressing windows logo key plus dot so if you press windows logo key plus dot you can access your emojis you can search and you can be able to search you can even search using words and so many so many so many so that is a, another feature another feature is that uh, the narrator has been added support for additional languages narrator is actually is a useful feature that can be used to read aloud your pc and you it now supports narrator dialogue skip for now button alt plus s new natural narrator window welcome to narrator heading level one this is narrator home where you can get help access your settings and learn about new features Narrator is a screen reader that describes aloud what's on your screen, so you can use that information to navigate your device. To start or stop Narrator, press the Windows logo key plus Ctrl plus Enter. Explore the sections below to get started. Quick Start button. Learn the basic e exiting Narrator. So the languages that are now supported include Chinese, Korean, Spanish, French, Japanese, Portuguese, English and also German so these are very useful features and it will help those who are using this uh, feature the narrator to be able to use their PC moving on uh, to security Windows now supports uh, pass keys so you can log in to website using your biometrics using your face or your fingerprint and that can be very uh, useful you can log in let me just uh, show you how i've set up so to to set up i've, I've actually done a video on how to set up passkeys it will depend on if a website supports a passkeys or not if it supports you can be able to register and also to log in like the google accounts uh, supports passkeys and uh, you can see that if i i sign out if i try to sign in it will ask me your device will ask for your fingerprint face on screen lock continue and then it will use my face okay and then that is it so moving on we go to the settings if you go to settings if you go to settings uh, you will see that there's some uh, updates you have home you have system you have bluetooth devices network and internet personalization apps accounts and by the way inside the accounts and pass keys is where your your pass keys will be stored this is where your pass, key do, pass keys will be stored and you can delete pass keys here 
so uh in the wind in the home tab of uh, settings you can see that uh, we have it has up to seven cards and windows is promising to add more and from here you can see you can access your wi-fi date and time settings lock screen you can access cloud storage if you have logged into your onedrive bluetooth devices you can also add your recovery email personalize your device and also windows or microsoft 365 so that's been it guys those are the major changes that are coming to windows 11 and i hope you liked my video and uh, kindly subscribe if you haven't like and share i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye